4th of July is a wonderful time of year with lots of celebrating and fireworks. I thought I'd share some of my ideas with you on how to make patriotic gnomes. For this gnome, you'll need a white sock, a colored sock, a glass or a jar, some kitty litter, preferably fragrance free, a little stuffing, glue gun, scissors, string, Maybe you can use a couple of zip ties if you want instead of the string. A little hat, maybe a little flag. If you want to make sparklers, you'll need some pipe cleaners. You want a little blush, some fur, and maybe a little extra fur for hair. Or you could make hair out of yarn or out of some macrame cord. Just use your imagination. First you're going to take your cup, and then you're going to take your white sock, and I've, this is a tube sock that works better than one with the heel in it, and I fold it down to where the ribbing is and cut it, so you want to cut it to about 9 inches, not an exact science, and then put your tube sock inside your cup. Pour in about a cup and a half of kitty litter. Put in some stuffing. I kind of do this with the stuffing to get it all squished around the kitty litter. So stuff it about how you want. And then take a little bit extra stuffing. And you're going to shove it in here like this. And you're going to poke a nose. You just pull it out like this and then you can either take some string and tie it around or one of my friends just showed me this not too long ago that you put a zip tie on they both do the trick so it's your preference I kind of switch back and forth so then I have this cute little nose. You can make a big nose or a little nose. I'm going to a little more stuffing. I'm going to take another zip tie and tie that around the top. Cut off the extra. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to keep this down. Then I'm going to put a little glue here to keep the, the this little hair down. Put a little more glue on the top. Put this part down. I'm going to take my blush and I'm going to make the nose all pink. There we go. Now we have a nice little rosy nose. I'm going to take my sock. And I'm going to slip it over the body. Pull it up really tight. Then I'm going to roll it down. Okay, I'm going to take my little piece of fur, and this is about five inches. And I'm going to cut a little ways down the middle. I'm 
And then I'm going to cut a V out to go under the nose. Let's pull off that extra fur. And then I want to give the beard some shape, so I'm going to start about an inch below the top and I'm going to cut it an angle, almost making a V. Cut really close to the backing on this so that you keep all that long fur on the top. I just make little tiny snips with this. There, see? And then I turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. There, so that's what the back looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then this is the front. And then I'll save these for something else. So then I'm going to take the beard and I'm going to shove it under the nose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue under the nose and then a little glue on the sides. Not on the bottom yet, just on the under the nose and on the sides. Let that dry. And then put a little glue on the sides here. And a little glue on this side. There you go. Now we have a basic gnome. And from here, you can dress it and put whatever kind of hat you want on it. So now I'm going to pull up, pull this sock up, which is the jacket. And then just kind of roll down the top. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm folding this under, and I'm going to fold a little collar. So I just kind of tuck in the heel, or you could cut it off at the heel, and then just you'll have a little shorter sock to deal with. But I kind of like to make a collar. There. So then I'm going to put some glue. I'm going to put some glue right under here, and I'm going to put some glue under here. And put a little bit of glue underneath this fold for the collar so it'll stay. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue under the beard. So I have the jacket all glued on and now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue under the sides here to keep the beard down on the edges. Okay. Then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my little hat and I could glue it on just like this if I wanted to. Or I like to add a little bit of hair to it. So I've cut a little bit more of the same fur that I used on the beard and I'm going to glue it on the back of the head. Now I'm going to take these pieces that I cut off of the beard and I'm going to use that over the front.
So I'm just gluing this down right on top of the edge of the other piece that I put on there. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I'm going to glue it across here. And then this just about covered it all up, so I'm just going to cut a little piece off of this to add to the back. If I had some more scraps, I could just glue those on there. So I'm just going to have a little patch in the back, just making them a little toupee. There, now we have a little gnome that's bald on the top. So we're going to put the we're going to put the hat on. Make sure your glue gun is on low setting for this hat because it will melt it if it's too hot. So I get the glue on here real quickly all the way around the edge. And then I'm going to shove it right on top, make sure it covers up the nose. Let's get a little hair sticking over the nose here. There you go. Let that dry. I'm going to take this little star, you can decorate it with whatever you want. I'm going to put a little glue on this and put this on the side. I'm going to take this little flag. Now I got the hat and the flag both at the dollar store. I'm going to stick the end of the flag underneath the beard. Like this. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of glue on it and then put the beard down on top of it. And that will hold it in place. And make sure you get some glue on the very bottom of it so it doesn't poke through. I got a whole bunch of glue on this. If you can see that, I got there's a lot of glue on there. I'm gonna make sure it's flat where I want it. There we go. And I'm gonna hold it down and let it dry. We have a patriotic gnome. Now, if you want to make a sparkler, so I tried all kinds of things and this seemed to work the best for the sparkler. And this is just pipe cleaners. And if you watched my video on how to make bunny gnomes, this is the same way I made the, the whiskers for the bunnies. So fold it in half and then fold them in half again. And then just use as many pipe cleaners as you want. The more you make, the fuller your sparkler will be. So that will be four pipe cleaners that I've cut into fourths. Like I said, you can use however many you want. You could use different colors too. I'm going to kind of line them all up and find where the middle is and just make a nice twist. And then I'm going to take a whole pipe cleaner and fold it in half. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to put it over the top. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue all the way around this first and then I'm going to put this on to hold it all together. Give that a little twist. And I just twist the whole thing so that it looks like one piece.
and then let it dry a little bit and then separate all these just like you would on a on an artificial Christmas tree. Preferably without all the little fur on it. <laughs> There, doesn't that look like a little sparkler? So then, instead of the flag, because I, I wouldn't do both, but instead of the flag, I would do the same thing with this and put it underneath the beard and glue it a little bit to the side. I guess if you really wanted them to be really patriotic, you could put them both on one. If you want to make a regular sock hat, instead of using one of these hats, you can take the other sock or a different sock that matches it and you could either use stuffing or I like to use a ping pong ball. It makes it really nice and round. And I was going to show you a little trick if you want to make this into a rattle. I take an X-Acto blade and just make a little, couple little cuts in a, the ping pong ball. So I just made, it looks like a little T in here, and I'm going to fold back one of the corners. I usually do this in the bag, but so you can see what I'm doing. So then I put a little bit of kitty litter in here. So hold this back and just put a little bit of kitty litter in here. Can you hear it? It rattles. And then I can reuse that kitty litter for another one. And then I use my X-Acto blade to kind of round this back out again. Put a little hot glue on it where I cut it because you don't want the kitty litter to come out. Actually, I put a lot of glue on it. And if you have one of these little ones, hold this on here to make it flat. If not, that's okay. You won't see this anyway. Now I have a little rattle. I'm going to put that in my sock and tie a little string around it. And then once you tie it on there, you can grab this and kind of pull it and round it out. And I have a nice little white rattle at the end. Cut off the excess string. I'm going to put a little glue around it to keep the string in place. I'm going to put a little stuffing in the hat. So you can either cut this right here at the heel, or I just fold the heel under because I don't want to see that part. And put that in the back. And I put the hat on the on the gnome. And then just tuck this part in. Just like that. And that makes it just look like a little fold in the hat. I can either put a lot of stuffing in it to make it stand up straight. Or I can just put a little bit of stuffing in it and have it be a floppy one. I think this one would be cute flopped over, so I'm going to put less, a little less stuffing in it. So now I'm going to glue the hat on. Let's put a bead of glue really close to the sock. And I'm going to put some glue right here, close to the nose. And go all the way across the top of the beard and across the top of the nose. And 
and I'm going to tuck this white part under just like this and put some glue underneath it. You could sew that part shut if you wanted to too, but gluing works just fine. This is some faux fur yarn and it makes great trim for around the hat. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue across the top of the nose and right along the edge of the hat and I'm just going to do a little bit of it at a time. So I can get it right where I want it. I'm actually going to do two rows of this so that I can get it on top of the nose. See there's a little bit of space here and I want to cover that up. So I'm going to do one row really close to the top edge of everything. Okay, there's one row, and then I'm going to do one more row of it so it makes it a little bit thicker. And you really need to glue this all the way around so that it, it stays on there. Let me see, are you? I think I need. I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon around this. Cut off my the excess and and then for the finishing touch we have the sparkler. So looks like the hat's going to flop this way, so I'm going to put that sparkler on the other side. So I'm just going to lift up the beard and tuck it under here. Get it about where I want it. Not too close to his face. You don't want to burn him. And then glue the beard down on top of it. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here along the edges, right real close to the sparkler. You could put arms on your gnome and then have the have it hold it in its arms, but that's for a, a, another day. <laughs> so I've shown you how to make a gnome with a flag and a hat and a gnome with a sparkler and a sock hat. And of course you can always make a pointy hat just turn a sock inside out and you cut it off at the heel and then start on the edge and sew this at an angle so you have a little triangle and then turn it inside out and stuff it and you have a pointy hat so for this one I found this duster at the dollar store and I just cut some of this off and and glued it along the inside of the hat and put it on here. I thought that turned out pretty cute. And then for this one, for for the hair, I used some yarn and I just folded these. I cut 12 inches and folded them in half and then I glued those around the inside of the hat. You have to be really careful when you do that so that the glue doesn't melt, so that it doesn't melt the hat. And then I undid all of the yarn, untwisted all of the yarn, and put some little bows in it. And then there's always this kind of hair with that I used some macrame yarn with for detailed instructions on how to make the hair and different kinds of hats. Check out my video, Do It Yourself St. Patrick's Day Gnomes with Cute Hats and Hair. For detailed instructions on how to make the gnome body, check out my first video, Creating Simple Gnomes with Penny. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel, Small Change 57. I hope you had fun and learned a little something along the way. 
Thanks for crafting with Penny and hope to see you again in the future. Happy 4th of July!